Wowie, wow, wow, wow. It is just 2015 week it is. And it's more Chrysler stuff. Dude, 2015 Dodge Journey miniature van. Let's get a visual. Visual. Which is kind of like a 80s music video visual with the sun glaring in the back because our camera equipment is from... I actually got this camera from HBO from an auction. They were getting rid of all the stuff from the, uh, the Robin Williams comedy tour in like 86 87 and so that's why the quality of this looks right I, i'm actually into the vintage look so i got vintage cameras to make this look like a vintage production so welcome to the 80s yeah all right anyways changing an alternator got a uh this thing here came in with an alternator light on customer brought an alternator to me in a box and said can i can i get that on for him i said yes i can i could get that on so let's flip the camera around real quick and show you kind of the method of madness that we're going to use to do this by the way this is a four cylinder 2.4 liter here we go there it is right down in the middle right here kind of like down in the front and it's got a tensioner that holds the, the serpentine belt and yes the serpentine belt needs changing however i know my customers very well I'm going to just put the alternator on because there's no cracks in the belt yet, but I'll tell them about it. They want they want to fix what they brought it here for. If I start doing stuff, it uh, just we'll just leave, we'll do this like this. This keeps people very happy. This is what I'm going by the request of the customer. So uh, what, I'm going to, what I've done here to make this job a little easier is I've put my serpentine belt tensioner tool, which you can find off your Amazons or your Ebays or your Walmarts, all the ter terrible big box stores. <laughs> And it uh, it actually goes. You're gonna you're gonna move it back towards the firewall. And what you see here is that it's something I sort of fixed up that just keeps this tensioner pulled back on the belt. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a bungee cord, and I'm gonna unloop it off of the alternator. And I'm gonna use the bungee cord to tie the belt around back so that the belt stays on the rest of the pulleys. It keeps tension on it. Then I'm gonna take the alternator loose and pull it forward so I can get to some of the wiring connectors. The battery's located in an odd place so we're going to just we're going to insulate the main cable so that we don't ground it on anything and uh we're going to get the alternator it should come up through the top right here let's see what happens guys yeah so the alternator did come out through the top like we were talking about matter of fact it actually it snaked up this way through the line i got a, a I took it down carefully. It was careful not to ground the uh, positive terminal out. Matter of fact, I took an old grease rag and wrapped it up with a little tape and just tucked it over to the side. And I used my trusty little hook pick to get in there and release the the, the holder right there for that. <laughs> and then I just I threw it on the ground. Okay, and then <laughs> um, the bolt at the bottom would come out without no without any problem. I did have to take this little idler pulley off way down here i don't know if you can if you'll be able to see or not but it ah i'm sorry hard to get a good visual with, the, with this 80s camera from hbo robin williams special but uh there's an idler pulley you'll see it down here right in front of the the main bolt at the bottom of there it was just five eighths 16 millimeter same thing with the big bolt on the bottom of the alternator was 16 millimeter the top bolt was 13 and uh so i'm just putting it back together now and we'll see how it goes okay so with the meter set on the 20 volt dc scale this is a uh probably one of the most expensive multimeters you'll ever see in your life so count yourself lucky that you actually got to see this high dollar can uh meter on camera here this is yeah this is such an expensive meter that it's not even really allowed to be on on youtube but uh we're just breaking all the rules but anyways so 20 volt scale dc because that'll right that's our range our battery voltage is around 12 volts so we should see a four, 14 volt 13 volts okay looking good looking good Before this, before uh, off camera, while this cake was baking, I checked it with headlights on, so the alternator's working properly. You'd want to cycle the headlights, turn on accessories, make sure the alternator's keeping up. Just a little FYI about alternators, newer ones anyhow. If you notice that the voltage is low, like you see a voltage around 13 volts, that's actually okay. That won't hurt anything. 
if the battery is charged up all the way, the uh, there are parts designed in this vehicle to sense the battery load. And if the battery is not needing to be charged that much, then the alternator actually will go into more of an economy mode and pull less of a load on the engine instead of you know, trying to crank out as many amps to charge the battery as possible when it doesn't need it. And that, that actually prolongs the life of batteries too, by the way, not, not just you know, soaking the crap out of a battery to death. So you'll see the voltage drop back 13 you know, volts. So when, it, when it gets below, if it gets below 12.95 and starts dropping below that, you really need it, you know, trial, that's you, but if you see 13.8, 13.18, and then you see, you know, especially a low battery, 14.5, 14.75, 14.8, you're good, you're rocking. Start seeing 15 and 16 volts, too much overcharge and new alternators typically are controlled by the ECM and the ECM will actually activate the voltage regulator inside the alternator so you know if you have if you replaced alternators and you're still seeing a charging issue it's a good possibility to move on to more of a, an issue with the ECM by and one day if we run into that I'll do that I'll check I'll show you how to check for a square wave output going to the alternators rectifier circuit so that it does, knows what to do. I've got a meter for that, but we haven't had to do a video like that yet. And when we do, we'll get it out there. But thank you so much for the 2015 Dodge Journey alternator replacement. It's doing great, it's kicking butt. Thank you guys, we'll fix it, team.